If you're not new to these uh, farm videos, damn. Oh, ooh. God damn. Hey, hey, hey. We'll walk to the dog. We'll walk to the dog. This video right here is more of an update on what's going on with the farm. Y'all let's see it. Um, uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, yes, yeah, so, but uh, spoiler alert, we are here now. No more going back and forth to Rayford. Uh, but the crib will come after that. But we can't go inside. Everything basically, you know, same layout. But if you're new, it's new to you. Oh, we did get a dog. We got another dog. I uh, remember back in 2020, whenever COVID was, the one that we had had passed. Let y'all meet Daisy. That's Daisy, her scare. Hey! What? It's mine. No, it's not. Papa, I didn't die. Drone. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I'm thinking he could reach the pedal. I'm sure. Go that way. Not that way, for the water. That way, for the water. Right, when I am with this troublemaker right here, I make sure I take the key with me so he doesn't try to crank it and uh and go. No, we good. Papa, we good. Been I know, I know. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Damn boy, made me spill my yak. <laughs> All right, animals need water. Yeah. So on this side we got the cows and we got the sheep. So my father, he got rid of all the goats. Remember in a couple of videos before you see the apparatuses in the goat's head because pause, they used to um, get stuck in the fence. My dad said that was a headache. So he wasn't he wasn't trying to fool them. So he got rid of all them joints. So there's the sheep right there. We actually sold one yesterday, as a matter of fact. Tribe of Issachar, they came out, you know what I'm saying, and got it. I didn't think they was really gonna catch the sheep, but you know, they did. Yeah, yeah, so they let one go for a nominal fee. We're gonna get close up on the cows, don't worry, because we're gonna feed all of them later. We're gonna go open up the other water spout and uh, have the water down there just in case, you know, somebody wants to straggle away. Don't quote me, but I don't believe we pay for uh, water. Sounds cool. <laughs> Let it stop before you. Let's uh, come on, man. You're trying to do something. <laughs> now, but next time, let it stop, please. It's bleak on. All right, so we got the water situated. Now it's time to. Oh, we gotta go to the chickens. We gotta the get them the water nugget. too. Yeah, the chicken nuggets. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so we got the chickens. Chickens and the ducks right here. Where's your man? <laughs> We got some more ducks and chickens up in here. We got a segregated duck over here, <laughs> White Privilege Jr. Now, um, my father said that the other ducks and the chickens, they be beating this one up, so pause. So, you know, he gave him his own uh, little seclusion. Yeah, dog, used to be the time one. Now your name is just Twan. Pretty much you and PC. Bored out his mind. I think it's a, hey, what's your own um, pronouns? Your pronouns? I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come through tomorrow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you a bagel, all right? Got you, got you. Oh, here go the biddies right here. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely get some daytime B-roll tomorrow. It's just, it's so hot out here, you know what I'm saying? Like feeding these animals. Yo, you gotta wait till the sun goes down, you know what I'm saying? That's farming for you, you know? <laughs> all right. But um, yeah, man, uh, for the most part, Everything's the same. Still relaxing and all. You know, this is 26 acres. We got a Verizon tower. We? He got a Verizon tower. We'll get into to that in a second too. Look who we got here. White Prevo. White P. You know what I'm saying? What's good, man? If you're not new to these uh, farm videos, damn. Oh, ooh. God damn. Hey, hey, hey. God, whoa. Nah. And it's still buzzing. There ain't no way. Ain't no way. If y'all are new, this is my horse. We call um nickname White Privilege. I'll come in peace. Got him in segregation too. Come on, don't act like you you don't you, come on man. Stop playing. Uh yeah, that's my guy. Used to always be the first to the food. Now you you are alone with the plate to you. Hey, less is more, right? <laughs> less is definitely more. Yes, yeah, uh there you go. But nah, I think what happened was um 
He can probably move them cows around, but that bull over there, mm -mm. that bull moving, moving privilege around, you know what I'm saying? So we had to, well, my father had to segregate him. I kind of feel bad though, man. He, uh, he's solo, you know what I'm saying? Right, so I did lose my light last night, so I figured, you know what? Let's stop right here and show you the form during the perfect time, you know, when the sun's out and it's not too too hot, but it's getting there. It is definitely getting there down here. So anyway, yeah, you have seen the you've seen the horse, and I think where we stopped off, I said that I was gonna bring bagels. Got him, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna disperse some of them, but you know what I'm saying? I feel bad for the little duck right there in segregation, so bring him the I bring him the bagel first oh don't I like you too good all right so you acting too good let's see let's see if y'all want y'all want yeah I know stop playing okay I know they're gonna want some shit all right we here Yeah, them from New York City. Huh? <laughs> you just missing some cream cheese, you know? You good. So yeah, those are the chickens, the biddies, and the ducks. Guess he didn't uh, really like his, but he'll, he'll, he'll chop down and say, I know you ain't acting too good to, uh, to eat, player. Now we're about to head over to the cows, but first let me show you the burn pit. So yeah, we got the burn pit right here, right outside this mound. Damn. My pots didn't want to uh, utilize it last night in front of my son. You should know we're all about safety out here, for real. I don't know if he's gonna get any more uh, other animals. I probably have to ask him. Got something to transport the horse. I don't know if this was there last time. We got a lot of uh, we got a lot of trailers out here or hitches, you know. Yeah, maybe all of them don't belong to him. Sometimes people leave things here, you know, say they ain't got no room for them. So the tractor right there. We'll talk about that later. Uh, that doesn't belong to us. We got an apple tree right here. Apple tree right here. Apple right there. Yeah. Self-sufficient farm. Yeah. The hay. I don't know how um I don't know how old this um these, these rolls are, but uh I do think they get kind of pricey. But yeah, you already know use that to feed the uh, the cows. Yeah. I'll take you to the garden right quick before we go to the cows. Picky tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. Tomatoes right here. The tomatoes right there. That joint look bad. Bad. Boom, tomatoes, right there. Is this pause? The eggplant, pause. There's probably another tree right there. There's probably another um, drum right there. Oh, yep, right there too. Yep. I know he was growing peppers somewhere, but I did. I don't know where they're at. And I really don't know if this is anything right here. I remember one year we, <laughs> We uh, we tried to grow some um, potatoes, and I was helping him. Um, me and uh, his homeboy was was actually putting the the roots in the ground, and I don't think I don't think anything um produced. At first, I was kind of tight, but then I wasn't. I was like, man, you know, what I'm saying I ain't never did this before, so you know, I was cool. Anyway, I'd have been up in New York anyway by that time. I really don't know what he's growing up there. He would have to be here. Um, yeah, so you see all the, the troughs, y'all know, we, uh, we give water to the cows and stuff. Uh, the cows are over there. I don't know if they're really gonna, uh, come through, but I do believe I did get some B-roll of us feeding the cows. The cows and the sheep. Oh, I know how I can get them. I know how I can get them to come through. But yeah, the cows and the sheep. Where that bull? Let me drop a go-go beat on this joint. standing to see one come through every oh okay what what now if white privilege was here oh he beat all of them to the damn uh, truck and you see big boy he take his time he like yo i get him out the way anyway but let's say hello to the cows not wasting your time or nothing like that i just want to you know show the people y'all good okay yeah i just want to show them you know what i'm saying we out here you know yeah how you been so yeah these are the cows it's that bull right there it's that, it's that that's boy you know yeah, this is this is his domain, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got white privilege up out of there, I see, huh? 
Word. That was up. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So, here's the crew. Here's the cow crew. <laughs> huh? Y'all was thinking about doing an unboxing later, man. Um, I unbox my sneaks. Uh, like right here. Y'all cool? Y'all just, I just use y'all for like the ambiance or whatever. That's cool. All right. Yeah, we're going to feed y'all later. You know how we get down. Yeah. But um, other than that. Hey, for the culture, can I? Yo, man. Come here. Come here, boy. Okay, no more. That's cool. Don't worry, everybody. Oh, 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 oh. Slow down. Cool. So yeah, those are the cows right there. Verizon Tower on our property. Well, on Dad's property, but you know it's kind of both of us. Got a storage shed right here. I don't believe I've ever been inside of that joint. Don't really want to. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no surprise. Got another storage shed over there. I have actually been in there. That's where you get one of the lawnmowers from. Right here is the well. We'll walk over there in a second. And I know y'all saw last year, last time we got the axes four by four. My dad tried to front say, yeah, it's Polaris. You know, it's the axis, bub. You know what I'm saying? Like, four to five thousand dollars cheaper. You know what I'm saying? Nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's, that's that joint right there. Oh, and as you can see, yes, they have built a, they have built a house. We've been had this, but this is where the, this is where the tractors go. And then as of, I don't know, two years ago, that's my Honda CRF 250. I think you can see the wheel. As an adult, well, I don't know. I still don't like the term. I used to hear about people, they're like, yeah, man, I got to sell my bike or whatever because I don't have time to ride it. Pause. I kind of get this because I just ain't got nowhere to ride. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here once a year, but yeah, it's my joint right here. Make sure there ain't no snakes out this joint. But yeah, here my joint right here. Uh-uh. Low miles, though. And I did, I did want to wash it, but whatever. Tractor right there. Then there's another storage shed over there. That one again, I don't believe I've I've ever been inside. I'd have to ask my father for um for confirmation, but I don't believe we pay for water though. I believe we you know it comes it's with the well, but you know. Let me get confirmation on that. To cut the grass and bam, got the Husqvarna right there. You got the John Deere, trusty John Deere. I think sometimes if my father wants to get the um the job done quicker. I use a tractor, put the grass cutting attachment on it. That's that. All right, before we get out to the well, so yeah, that's the um, that's the house right here. I already know generational wealth. Those are my two sons. Uh, I'm gonna take you out of one more uh, one more spot before we get up out of here. But yeah, so this the I asked what this was. This is the well right here. I ain't about to look inside and do nothing like that. But yeah, that's that's that color. Like, what, what is that? But anyway, yo, so funny story. The crib. So it's always been a running joke about where's my half of the acres at. I know it's in my name on the deed or something, but the joke was because anytime my dad sells something off, whatever, I'd be like, yo, do I get a cut? Because I mean, you know, what ain't they on my land? Yeah, they had to build the crib. So my acres are actually where this uh where this house is. Yeah. And I, I found that out. But somebody had sent me, shout out to um Carter. Somebody he sent me um an aerial view of the like with the taxes or whatever. Like it shows like where my I I never knew. And I found out it was there. So anyway, when he was building the house, he was like, <laughs> he was like, hey, you know, I can, um, if you want, I can sign you, you know, another, um, uh, another set of acres. If it ain't that one with that, um, Verizon joint with that contract and that monthly. Nah, I'm cool. Now, uh, when we're in the house, my father has to lower his voice, you know, saying he can't get angry with me. Right, hey. Don't be raising your voice on my land. You know what I'm saying? This was a toy I had as a as a little boy. And my pop, no, no. Yeah, it was another one. And I got to find it. But yeah, my pops, always, he, he got like two two of my trucks. He'll stick them on the outside of the crib. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's one of them. But I had another one. And then the funny thing about the whole, um my kid's name in the joint. I remember one time I had to help my dad. Uh, not really, but I was young. I had to be out there, help him. Uh, he he paved something, a walkway at the old, old crib. And I saw he put his name in the joint. So I was like, oh, let me put my name in. You know, it's small. And he was kind of tight. He was like, you ain't help. You know, I was like, God, no. you know. 
But uh, yeah, man. But as always, man, I love it down here. One thing um I do like is a lot of space. My son can uh get out here and run and not get hurt. You know how to steer and all that stuff. And you know, I, obviously me, I keep my foot on the gas. And anytime we get up out that joint, give me the keys. You know what I'm saying? Cause he know how to cut it on and everything. And I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to have no fatalities or nothing out here. But yeah, man. For the lights, if y'all don't mind, that's the form. If I missed anything, my bad. Shout out to the Wave Mob. Shout out to everybody that's been liking, commenting, all that. Follow me on that Snap. Follow me on that IG. Follow me on that Twitter, that Twitter B. With that Snaps. It's your boy Wavy. You already know this is my channel. It's Georgia Beach. Like I always like to say, see you when I see you. Ow.